Um, look, the preseason has been difficult because of the time frame. It's been very short. Um, and plus, there was the FIFA break last week. So, quite a few players were away. But, um, yeah, slowly, you know, as I say, slowly settling in and trying to just work with the players. Some of the players, I know, most of them I know. Obviously, some of them I don't know. So, trying to get a feel of, you know, um, where they are and then obviously try and set up a team for, for um, Sunday. So, yeah, it's been, been good, been well received. But, um, you know, as I say, it's our first challenge will be on, on Sunday and we're looking forward to the game. All right, uh, and just maybe let's just go to the floor. I'll take the first question. It's from Vuyo. Vuyo Matoba, you can go ahead. Um, coach, good morning. Vuyo from Power 987. Um, coach, you coming to a team where, with the history when it comes to just titles having been going their way. Um, I just want to get from your sense um, during this, you know, this period that you've been with the players and the team and the management, um, have you had the conversations or just how the history has been in terms of the trophies? Does it put any pressure on you, um, especially the fact that you, you, you are great as well when it comes to trophies in, in your history? Has that been uh, much talk about, you know, um, trophies, making sure that you bring in trophies or just, you know, build up a team for now? Look, I mean, anybody knows the history of the football club, I do. You know, I know certainly in my playing days and then coaching days, and uh, I know the history of the club. Obviously, the power has shifted a little bit, um, you know, up north. And uh, the club has been very successful there. So we've got to try and get ourselves back into that frame and back into the mix. As you can see, you know, the competition is getting tougher and tougher. Um, I mean, certainly... There's a lot more teams uh, challenging now for, for titles and for trophies. And um, uh, we certainly need to get back there. And it's going to take a lot of hard work and, and, uh, and try and get the, you know, and the team was so close last season to winning the league. I mean, 20 or 30 minutes away. And so we're going to obviously try and get ourselves in a, in a, in a similar position again and, um, and see where we end up. Okay, let's go to Mark Strado. Um, hi, Coach. Uh, thanks a lot. Um, congrats on the appointment. Haven't been ever able to speak to you. Um, just um, obviously, I think a big part of Chiefs, I mean, they finished second last season, but there's certainly a few kind of aging players. There, there, there's certainly, I mean, I mean, you'll want to form the squad in your own, um, in your own image. Um, just a uh, as, as I understand, I think the transfer window closed in two days, in October 17, uh, unless that's changed. Um, just how close are you to finalizing the squad that you want? Mm -hmm. How much does Saturday's match um, actually play any role in that? Um, thanks. Uh, and maybe just a second question. Um, apparently, you've been extremely impressed with the facilities there at Nature Arena, really world-class, the village. Uh, some of the guys at Chiefs backroom people told us, you would whistle wherever you went. <laughs> Can you just tell us about uh, how, how it's been your introduction to the village? Thanks. Uh, I think I've said it already, Mark. I mean, well, well received. Obviously, um, you know, everything's in place to be successful. Um, you know, you know, we all know the situation, um, the signing of players and those type of things. But I mean, we've got a squad that uh, did very, very well last year. Uh, very unfortunate. So we'll try and work. With that, and and hopefully the ruling will be made sooner than rather than later. So um, there's not much really I can say about the whole thing. Um, yeah, the players have been very committed to training, um, but as I said, the proof will be on Sunday and see. Uh, we've I've only been here two and a half weeks, three weeks, and we did have had a week missing because the players have gone missing. So, but no excuses. I mean, I know you know the good thing is that I know the league, I know the players, I know. What's what's what we're facing and, um, and what they've got in the squad. So I have to work around that. Um, and there's a, quite a few good young players here um, that certainly will get their chance. Um, certainly they will do. But uh, the statement I think you made earlier. I mean, I always say if you um, if you're good enough and you can still do the job, it doesn't matter what your age is. But we have to balance the two because of of the situation at the football club. But I'm very confident in some of the players we've got. Um, you know, as I think you mentioned, old players. I mean, but yeah, they 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 they've done well. They worked hard, and um, I'm sure they got a lot to prove as well. 
going forward. Okay, next up, Mazola Mlife. Uh, hi, coach. Um, just uh, on uh, one, the injury injury update, and secondly, just on the on this FIFA ban. I mean, in, in your hundred years of coaching, is this the first time you come into a team and you can't you can't bring in <laughs> you can't bring don't, in any new faces? Don't worry. What? We well, I've worked up in band without the band. <laughs> 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 you know, coming coming yeah. in without having to sign players. What what's that like? Well, it's, it's, as I said, I mean, they had a very good squad of players, but obviously a lot of that, a lot of those players uh, have been have been injured. Um, so the top goal scorer Samir has been injured. He won't play. He's had an operation, so he hasn't even trained one day, and I think he'll be out for some time. Um, Castro obviously also was injured before the end of the season. He only hasn't trained much. Um, um, through the, the major injuries, yeah. It's pretty much those two. We were, you know, they were the cornerstone of the team last year. We did very, very well. So that 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 is a problem going forward. But but we'll have to realign ourselves, um, reshape ourselves a little bit to, to, to try and play to the strengths of the players that we've got. I think that's important. And uh, I'll try and do that. And and I said again, there's certainly there's four good, well, there's six or seven, but certainly the four... Uh, Certainly coming to the reckoning, and the other ones also a little bit injured from the young players as well. So we got to just take it day by day. And and the ban, as I say, we all know. I mean, it's, it's well documented. Um, I knew that coming here. Um, but yeah, we'll go forward. And um, I've got belief in what we got. And let's try and play a way that suits the players that we've got. Okay, Carabo. Thank you. Thank you very much for. So, uh, good morning, coach, and congratulations on the job. Uh, uh, coach, I, I just wanted to find out from your side, uh, obviously, when you arrived at the club, you know, I'm, I'm sure the heads were down. I mean, some of them should be uh, doubting their talents at footballers because of what happened in the last 20, 30 minutes of the last game. Uh, is there anything that you've done? You know, have you spoken to them? Have you tried to, to, motivate, to, to motivate them, rather, uh, that is mentally? Because, I mean, football is all about the confidence, and if you don't have that, you really cannot play. So, have you worked on the psyche of the players uh, too much, more than the talents of, 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 of the guys that out at Naturena coach? Um, I mean, you would, the obvious question would say, yes, I have. No, I haven't. I think I've worked on, on what you're going to try and do on the football pitch and try and, you know, in the sessions, we try and uh, make them play, as I said, in, a, in, a, in an unconscious way, but in a conscious state. I mean, that, I'm starting to sound like my, my friend Steve now. <laughs> um, but that's what I've tried to do and try to get the, the that, that back into the way we play. But in saying that, I mean, it could certainly, I mean, any football player that's been in that situation, um, you know, I've won leagues on, in the last minute and also lost a league in the last minute. So I understand, but we've got to, we've got to look at that, we put that behind us and just try and move forward. Um, Sunday, obviously, is a different competition. So it's a knockout competition, but when the league starts, uh, you know, one, one step at a time, one foot forward, and we'll just try and do that. But as I said, um, I haven't really, yes, we've spoken about it, but not, not really where it's, uh, it's been the, the core, you know, the meeting or anything like that. No, nothing like that. I think it's sometimes best left alone. And let's get on the training ground. It's the best way as any football player to go down the training ground and, uh, and just get them playing again and, uh, and, and, and enjoying it again. Then uh, Velile. Uh, good morning, coach. Uh, congratulations and welcome to uh, your new club. Um, just looking at um, the issue of um, this transfer ban, I know it's something that is out of your control now. Um, and I think the window is closing um, if Safa is updated at the end of November. It's November, um, yeah. It's not the uh, yes. end of Yeah, it's November, yeah. Yes. So, in, in terms of the approach now, um, because you can't just sit and idling and, and do nothing. So, do you identify your targets and try and do something with the hope that something will happen uh, before November? And what becomes the approach um, when you have possibly a lucrative offer for one of your current players, but the tricky thing is that you're not sure now you, can, you can't replace him? I think Vili is, uh, Vili is very difficult to try and sign players and... and, and and promise them that they'll, the ban will be uplifted. So we don't, that, that's very difficult from, from that perspective. I think that the other thing, on, if you look at the flip side of it, I think it's important. A lot of the players that were here last year, 
they've got a lot they can prove again that they can do it and that's a it's a great opportunity you know because as you know it's, it's exactly the same squad there's no new nobody in new or people have gone out so that's that's important i think the players must realize there's a big opportunity to to prove again that they can do it and if they want to do it uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on signing of players, it's out of my control as administration level. I mean, um, there's nothing I can do about that. But, yeah, I mean, I can identify 20 players. <laughs> but, you know, they can't come in. Uh, and obviously the market, you know, as you can see on a daily basis, players are going to clubs because they can't sit around hoping um, the Kaiser Chiefs will sign them. All right, Karabo, you want to have a follow-up? Yes, yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Fatu. Uh, Coach, I, I, I listened very attentively to, to the chairman of the club, uh, in that case, I'm down a couple of weeks ago when I unveiled you, and he said uh, he, he wanted you on a couple of occasions. Can, can you just give us a brief as to, uh, you know, how many times has he tried to sign you, and why would you say no to such a massive club if there were a conversation in the past? Because it looked, <laughs> it, it really was interesting on my side. <laughs> No, the only time I've spoken to Mr. Mr. Matong was um, in passing. There was never any approach. So I don't know where that comes from. It's all media speculation. So no, no, there's nothing from there. You know, wherever I've been. But obviously, you know, in football, I always say things are timing. I mean, you know, timing was, this happened and the timing. And uh, I mean, if ever I wanted to be at a football club uh, from when back in the 80s was, was a club of this magnitude and this size. So it's happened. And the timing, and hopefully we can make it work, and and uh, try and be competitive again, and um, you know try and win a few trophies. That's for sure. Mark Strado. Um, yeah, Gavin. Just um, looking at what you've got there. Um, I don't know if it's a bit awkward since they finished second last season, taking over, and then. But, but I'm sure you've got some ideas on what you're going to change. Um, I mean, just w looking at it, what are, your, what are you going to change? What are you happy with? What are you seeing that looks good in that squad? And what, do you, what have you identified as your, your strengths? Well, I mean, I think, uh, I think the, 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 the bubble affected everybody, not only Kaiser Chiefs. Um, and I think... It's very difficult to judge teams on, on what happened at the end of the season. But I mean, if you look at the start of the season before they went in, they were did very, very well. They were well clear. But I mean, it was a little bit unnormal, the situation that we all went into. I mean, it was, some clubs did better, you know. The club I was with previously, you know, did well. Um, obviously, Chiefs suffered. Um, so it, it's really difficult to, to make an judgment. But I think the players that they've got here, you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of um, the quality and it was proved it was so close last year. So what I got to try and do is, I think most important thing is yes, we need the continuation of being competitive like they were, but we also need, in my opinion, just also try and get away. You know, um, that only comes with personnel. So personnel is important to try and do sometimes a little bit different in, in, in instances. So right now, we've got to try and get the players to go again, um, and that's football. You know, so. Right now, there's not much more I can say than to try and go again and try and be competitive and, um, and try and take one step forward at a time. All right, uh, Velile Mnyandu again. Uh, Coach, just going back to, to Karabo's question um, about joining the club. Um, I know you always say that it, even previously, it was always going to be about timing. But looking at this one, what would have been this uh, a deal breaker um, for you not to think twice about signing? Because we understand that it was not only uh, Chiefs in the queue um, for your services. And, and also um, on Maris back, um, I see they are making also um, a couple of changes. Um, this, uh, maybe they might go to this game without their number one goalkeeper as well. Uh, depending on the developments um, uh, this week, what are you expecting um, from them? Um, also, I mean, I was at the Bafana camp and I could see how some players are struggling uh, for fitness levels, and I think this is something that is going to dominate um, this weekend. Um, look, just go back to your second question first. Um, I don't, I don't see them being any different. Um, they 
Harrodsburg. I think they'll be competitive. They had a good season last year. I think until they got to the bubble. But I think they, they'll be competitive, well-organized, you know. Um, I mean, they really did well from being a relegation team the year before. I think Eric, fantastic. Uh, to get them organized. Got a few clever signings in there. Um, so, yeah, I don't expect anything different. They've done very well against guys at Chiefs. I think they beat them, I think, last year at home here. Um, I'm not sure the, the way game. It might have been a draw, I think. I can't remember. Um, so, yeah, they've, been very, they've done very well against guys at Chiefs the last couple of seasons. So, we know what to expect. Well, I know what to expect. Hopefully, the players can get them into a situation where they understand, and I'm sure they do. And it's a great opportunity. We've got nothing to fear. Um, you know, it'll be there in front of us. And that's important. Yeah. Uh, th there was the first question um, about what would have been the deal breaker for you because oh, the teams I, were not the only. Yeah, as I said, uh, uh, really, it's, it's it's timing. I think it's a great opportunity. It's a fantastic football club. Um, but what we need to do is we need to get on the field. We need to get it. You know, we need to get going. We need to get it right. I mean, they've always been a competitive club and a competitive team. Um, but we need to get that right. It's going to take a lot of work. Um, I think, um, as I said, the club, fantastic, the surroundings, everything around the club. But the most important thing is the bottom pitch. You need to get that right. And, and I think it's a great opportunity. It's, um, you know, and uh, let's see how we go. Okay, we'll go to the last two questions, starting with Mazola. Um, Coach, obviously, speaking on the, of, of the same squad that you, that's still there from the previous season, uh, one player in particular, Kama Billiard, obviously, you know, a lot of, we you know what he can do at his best, but only two goals last season. You know, what sort of expectations do, do you have uh, for him? Well, I've got huge expectations. I know, I know him from when he came from Zimbabwe to Ajax. I mean, you know, yes, he's older, but he should be a little bit more experienced now, a little bit wiser. Um, I think the most important thing I got to do or we got to do as a, as a as a, as, a, as a staff is trying to get him playing to his strengths a little bit more where, it's, where we can get the best out of him um, and that's all I'm going to try and do um, you know and whatever he needs the support the extra work if he's willing I think he is willing I think he's got huge potential still um, I still see him as a young boy when he came from Zimbabwe uh, he's a little bit older now <laughs> but um, we got we got to get him playing to his strengths and that's mean in the right areas of the field um, you know, I don't want to know what's gone on here before. It's got nothing to do with me. I've got to just see what I see in front of me, and uh, you know, hopefully, you know, um, we can get him. He's, he's certainly a double figures goal scorer, I think, in the in the league, and that's that's got to be the first aim. Um, if he if he does his part, the rest we can do our part, and then hopefully we we can be successful. All right, the last question, uh, Max Tradom again. Uh, Gavin, yeah, I wanted to ask you about um, Pizzo's departure from the PSL, which is, um, look, uh, I don't think any coach has dominated the league and he's had his battles with Stuart Baxter and battles with Micho and battles with you um, and last year with Middendorp. <laughs> um, but he's, he's certainly been the one common denominator and he's changed the landscape of the PSL in many ways. I know he had the checkbook. Um, by winning a Champions League and what he did with Sundowns and winning so many trophies. What does it do now that he's gone to the PSL? And do you think Sundowns will, will, will continue from where they left off? And since I'm the last one, I'll just ask a second part. Just your assistance. It seems a really good technical team. I know, Dylan, you were bringing him to the coaching structures at Wits. Um, Arthur's, he, he knows Chiefs and he's been there and he, he's been part of the youth structures. It seems a good technical team. If you can just thank, thanks. Oh, Mark, that's quite a, that's quite a big one. Um, where do I start? Um, oh, yeah. Listen, I think it's certainly the, from my perspective, um, yes, we've had uh, uh, some great battles in terms of football battles. It's been fantastic. I think the league is weaker now because you're losing the fantastic expertise, you know, and, and, and the fantastic coach who's done an unbelievable job. So the league is certainly, for me, weaker. Doesn't mean that sundowns are weaker. They certainly strengthen up their the technical department, they've got guys who know, and they've obviously, the most important thing, they've, they've got the squad of players that can play 
all different formats, um, different ways, uh, different competitions. So it's a fantastic club. Uh, you know, Kaiser Chiefs, as I said, have been knocked off a little bit. We need to get back, certainly um, up there and challenging on, you know, and trying to be as competitive as them. And I think we can. Um, that might take, obviously, a little bit of adjusting and time. They were so close last year. Um, you know, you can't say they gave it away. It certainly was... A, it was a, a real fight to the end, and um, but yeah, certainly the league is is, is weaker, and, and, and it's certainly not not better off by him leaving. That's for sure. He's gone to a great opportunity, and you know, I wished him well, sent him a message. So um, yeah, um, great challenge, and and a club like our side, like Kaiser Chiefs, we got to be competing on those fronts. Certainly, um, you know, I played against Alakli many many times with a far inferior squad than than they had, and we did very very well. And I think. Um, you know, a club like our size, with our support base and obviously personnel, I think we can do well there. So hopefully we'll get in and, and do well on that front as well. So, yeah, let's see. On, my, on our side, um, obviously with, with our situation, you know, there was a lot of uh, backwards and forwards with, with the staff and before I came. But, um, you know, Arthur who's been here, you know, I know him very, very well. And um, he's been great help so far. And I'm sure, you know, we can go forward together. And, and Sheppy's, um, you know, obviously, she's, I started Sheppy's career at 17 and he finished with me at 38 So, as a coach. So, yeah, just shows you how long he's been with me. And now he's, uh, you know, his future as a, as a coach is, um, I think he'll do very, very well. And, you know, he's enthusiastic and that's important. He works well with the youth and that, the whole idea was obviously the youth and the Disky team as well to, 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 to try and get it, you know, a little bit on par so we can get players into the first team. Because as you know, in this market now, it's, we need to start producing our own players. Um, and, and, and that's what we've got to try and do. That's a long-term vision. But hopefully, you know, I can or we can bear fruit uh, with a lot of these younger ones coming in and, and reviving and, and, and getting us on the front foot again. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Coach. Uh, I think we're going to end it there. Thank you very much, colleagues. And uh, all the best, Coach, for Sunday.